So, hey guys, uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. So, in the last video, we have discussed about planetary system, star formation, and the nebular model. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the tidal forces and planetary rings. So, this comes under the astronomy and astrophysics subject of BSc undergraduate course. So, tides are so we all know that tides are caused due to the difference between gravitational force of the moon and different location on the earth, say A and B. So the difference in gravitational forces between the two points on Earth, that is A and, and B, causes the tides. So tidal effects play an important role in astronomy, particularly in understanding the creation of large number of satellites and ring system in the Zobayan planets. So Zobayan planets are, uh, for example, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, etc. So let's do, so let us now derive an expression for tidal force for the Earth Moon system and based on this system later we will discuss the formation of planetary rings around the Zoban planet. So here we assume a mass M is located on the Earth that a distance R from the center of the Moon. So if capital M is the mass of the Moon, then the gravitational force F acting on M is. So here is the mass element M which is located at a distance R from the center of the Moon. So the gravitational force acting on the mass M is given by F equal to G M M by R square, where G is the universal gravitational constant. And this is our equation number one. Now, if a small mass element, say dm is located at a distance dr from the earlier mass element along the same line. So here is another mass element dm, which is located at a distance dr from the earlier mass system, earlier mass element. So then the difference between the gravitational forces experienced by these two mass elements can be obtained by differentiating equation 1. So the difference in between the gravitational force experienced by the two mass elements are given by Df and differentiating this equation F. So here we get this difference of Gf equal to minus twice G mm by R cube dr, which we obtain by differentiating equation 1 with respect to R. So now this difference in the gravitational forces on the two equal masses separated by a distance dr will cause them to move with different acceleration. And this differential force Tf equal to minus twice G mm by R cube dr is called the tidal forces. It's called the tidal force. So here we see that the term R cube in the denominator of the equation shows that the tidal force has a stronger dependence on distance as compared to gravitational force which varies with varies as 1 by R square. And to find the effect of the tidal force of the moon on mass elements located, located at different points on the earth, example at the equator and at the pole, let us obtain the general expression for the tidal force considering the earth is a two-dimensional object. So here we will derive an expression for a general case to find the tidal force at any point on the earth by considering earth as a two-dimensional object. So here we consider a mass element M located at the center of the Earth and another element of mass M located at an arbitrary point at a latitude phi on the surface of the Earth. So here we consider um, a Earth of uh, a, here we consider a mass element of mass M is uh, located at the center of our Earth and we consider another mass element uh, is situated at P which is uh, at a latitude phi from from the center of the earth. So we also assume that the moon lies along the x direction. Now the components of gravitational force at points C and P can also be written as the uh, gravitational force at C, which is completely along x direction, is equal to GMM by R square. So there are no component of force are along y axis, so the entire force is along x axis. So the component of force along y axis is zero. And uh, here at, uh, the gravitational x component of gravitational force due to moon at P is G mm f square by cosine f square cosine. So along x axis the gravitational force is this, and along y axis the gravitational force will be minus G mm f square sine theta. So the difference. So the difference between the two forces del f equal to f p minus f c equal to g m m cos theta by f square minus 1 by r square i cap minus g m m sin theta by f square j cap and we give it equation number 7. So using Pythagoras theorem we clearly write f square in terms of r n in terms of small r and capital r and phi. 
So we get the s square equal to r minus uh, uh, small r minus r cos theta cos square plus r square sin square pi. So uh, we neglecting the higher terms and using uh, uh, approximation, we get s square as r square one minus two capital R by small r cos pi. Now substituting the value of s square in equation seven and using the small angle approximation, that is cos theta is nearly equal to one. And sin theta is uh, r by capital R, uh, capital R by small r sin pi. And using binomial expansion, we get del f equal to g m m r by r cube. And in the bracket is plus cos pi i cap minus sin pi j cap. And we keep it equation number eight. And this is the expression for tidal force in terms of latitude phi. And for mass element located at the equator of r, that is for pi equal to zero, the magnitude of tidal force is maximum. And the and at the poles where Phi equal to 90 degree. The magnitude of the tidal force is minimum, and this is the cause of tidal bulge around the equator, and all, which also causes tides in the ocean. So now let's discuss the planetary rings around the Zobayan planets. So the concept of tidal forces also can be invoked to understand the rings system. So there are two possible scenarios. Since the Zobayan planets are massive, tidal gravitational force of the planets on their satellites must be very strong. And that if a satellite comes very close to the uh, any super planet, say Jupiter, it experiences a very strong tidal force, and it breaks up into pieces. And the particles form during such a process revolve around the planet in ring formation. And according to the second scenario, during the formation of Zobayan planet, the tidal force restrains the particles from condensing into a satellite, which later which later accumulates around the planet and creates this ring system. So this is for today's video. If you have any suggestion, comment or doubt, you can write below. So thank you for watching this video.